I'm Doris. I'm from BOE, and welcome to our booth. And this is the car from our partners. We offered panels in it. So is BOE in many cars? Uh, we offered many panels for uh, many cars. Yeah. Already in the in market. Most, yeah, 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 already. All in the of the world. Yeah. All right. Not only in China, we have panels all over the world. This is uh, Aston Martin. Yeah. And this is uh, DBX 707, and this is from Geely in China. And it's a brand in China. All electric. Mm -hmm. yeah, Could be. This is, yeah. This is electric. All right. Let's have a look at some of the displays here. Okay. Because BOE is the best on earth, right? Yeah. The display. <laughs> yeah, you know this. Yeah. So um, this one is impressive. This is a light field. Yeah. Is it AK? Yeah, you can see the uh, sun display. 16K display. Yeah. So you can see the 3D display here. This is uh, in front of all our screen. How many inch? 32 inch, 16K. It's 32. And um, how many fields do we have here? Uh, you mean position? Yeah. How many positions one. can? Like one. One position? Yeah. What is it following my eyes? Yeah. I'd follow the eyes of the person in front of the. Uh, yeah. This will catch up your eyes. So that means each eye will get, I don't know, AK for each eye? Uh, yeah. Something like that? Yeah. All right. So this is the highest resolution light field holographic display in the world. Oh, I'll try right here. Ooh, I can see it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's catch your eyes. Oh, wow. This is, this is mind blowing. Is it the same demo that was in display week? Uh, a few yeah. months ago? Yeah, yeah. But now it's possible to buy? I can buy this now in a shop? Not yet. Uh, maybe no. Not yet. OK. Yeah. I hope it comes soon. <laughs> OK, All right. thank you. And this is a 4K per eye micro, yeah. LED, uh, micro OLED. Yeah. Is it? I'm just guessing. So here's 4K by 4K. This is the same resolution like the Apple Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. this, ch this display could be an Apple. Maybe. We don't know yet. Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we don't know who's the uh, contract, who they work with. Yeah. I mean, we do. Uh, it's probably Sony, but maybe there's, there's also BOE. Okay. Maybe. Okay. That's part of the... This is the highest resolution VR display in the world. Highest uh, pixel density. Most realistic VR display in the world. All right. Yeah? Yeah, it looks cool. Looks amazing. Oh, there's an animal coming to eat the egg. Oh, it's my breakfast. Oh, there's a circus. Cool. Uh, I'm Stephen. I'm right. from BOE. And uh, what do we see here? Oh, this the demo is a 42.2 inch demo. And the technology is this is the side mirror. Uh, and. Uh, you can see the panel is 42.2 inch, a one piece panel. Yes. Nice. And uh, there is a hole. Yeah, it's not a uh, obviously, but uh, there is a hole we can put a camera in. And so, so you can monitor driver. The driver. Space. Yeah. And uh, uh, this panel is sensor touch. Okay. So the whole panel is touch? Yeah, it's touchable. And uh, it have haptic in the module. You can feel it if you like. Oh wow! It's vib vibrating behind my finger. I like to get the car exactly here. Be there. Okay. I will let you, I will introduce you the privacy. Please yeah. just sit here. Yeah. Sit here and. Uh, I will show you. You can sit here. I will. Show. Do you see the difference? You oh wow! Difference? It disappear. Yeah. yeah, the area we can control the privacy area, and uh, it is switchable. I can press button to let the privacy. So uh, when you park the car and you want to watch Netflix together with your passenger, then it's like this. But when you're driving, you, yeah. you don't want it to be disturbed. And yeah. then, uh, then you just focus on the road. Yes. 
for as long as you're not in a level five self-driving car, that's going to be a different future. All right. This is already inside the car on the market. Oh, this is not already inside the market, but uh, some technology has already the in, in our customer. You can see the GD car. Let's check. The yellow one. Yeah. Yeah. It is a 45 inch. You can see. And, yeah, and this Geely is already on the market? Yeah, they're already at mass production. But, but uh, only in only Shenzhen, right? in China, not in the United States. So. Yeah, right. it's a 45 inch one piece panel. 45 inch? Yeah, 45 inch. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine having a 45 inch TV in your car? <laughs> That's cool. Is this uh, this is mini LED? No, not the mini LED. It's a normal uh, backlight. Normal LCD? Yeah, not a uh, normal um, BIO. Back unit. Yeah, normal one. Backlight unit. It's a big screen. Can you can you click on it? Can you do some stuff to it? Oh. Uh, Change what's happened on the screen. Uh, what do you need to do? But be careful no, no, you don't no, drive on the on the people in the <laughs> show. <laughs> Actually, I we don't want to make accidents. I, I cannot do anything okay. right now, but you can see the... And, and look at the... Can you show this controller? It's, it's like a gaming controller. Oh. So people just... Uh, when they're in the traffic, they can just play the video games, right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When they're yeah, waiting. They video games be here. Because yeah. sometimes in Shenzhen there's a lot of traffic. Oh. So I need to play with the games. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah. this partner you can yeah. fight yeah fight on the yeah game. maybe you bring the playstation in your car wow that's cool or the nintendo i prefer nintendo <laughs> all right thank you you're and, welcome uh, and what do you have on that car there some oh, other that display the uh, uh, customer at the margin but uh, i think the lcd is a normal lcd but next generation uh, at the margin will use our uh, uh, dual style technology. Oh, I don't know. It's just a normal LCD. Yeah. Next generation, at the moment we use our uh, dual style technology. This one. Yeah. Yeah. This dual style technology is made by two cell. One is display cell, and another is optical cell. Optical cell is to control the light. So uh, this can have much more contrast. Yes. It's a full. Contrast. Uh, pixel dimming for every pixel can be lo a pixel oh. level local dimming and for every pixel. Two plus two four pixels. Ah, four pixel one. dimming. Yeah, four pixel dimming. So that means one cell is half the resolution than the other, or something like that. It's not the same resolution each no, cell. Not the same resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this 1080p and the one behind 720. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Oh, like the like there. Yeah, this is the resolution. The mono and this. The two different resolutions. Yeah, the mono is means the optical cell. Optical cell. Yeah, and the color is means the display cell. So it's a, uh, it's, is it already in the market? Yes, it's already in market. So and some car already have this. Ah, this one has it. No, not this one. Ah, the, the other model. Other model we use are. Uh, oh wow. Uh, dual cell technology. So, um, how is the brightness with the dual cell? This, this bright is uh, one thousand. One thousand nits can go yeah. through the two layers. Yes. What is this one? This is the OLED. OLED screen. Is it a printed OLED? Uh, not printed. So oh. it's a more organic. Sorry, let me give you this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it yeah. is a more organic material on it. Um, it's more bright and um, it's um, more less heat than uh, compared with other technology like dual cell or mini LED. Yeah, and then it is more flexible, so you can see on here. Um, you can see it can flex, uh, fold it, or you have different kind of shape. So it's good for new designs for the car? Probably, yes. All right. Um, All right. There it is. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, any other demo you have down there you want to talk about? How about this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, this one also? Can you explain a little bit? This, this and this? This one? Oh, yeah. that one? Yeah. This one? This yeah. is the mini LED. I think it's popular in the market. Yeah, it's a backlight uh, technology. All right. Yeah, the backlight use mini LED, so can make a uh, many zones. Okay. Yeah, it's also to uh, to improve the contrast. 
Nice. Okay. Now this is the oxide. Yeah, oxide. The, the performance is similar to LTPS, but uh, oxide can be much more oxide. It can be uh, that like that is 45 inch. It's very big. Yeah. So you can see two more screens here. It's digital sign and round display. About this is two, uh, 23 point six inches, and it is for commercial uses. Nice. It's very popular in China, and maybe I think it also will be popular in Europe and America. So this is already in mass production. Yeah. This design. Yeah. yeah. Many people use yeah. it around this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the shop or something like that. Yeah. It's yeah? Shop, uh, small store, supermarket. They use this to do commercial uses. Cool. And uh, this is another 65 yeah. inch 4K. It's a 4K it's TV. You turn like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm joking, but uh, I yeah. mean, I know. It's uh, so it's also probably very popular because yeah, yeah. very affordable also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is uh, OLED products. Yeah. All right. Nice. And and uh, in here, the CES 2024, you also even have some uh, private demos, and you show yeah. some some people about the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me talk to you more about the private room. Okay. Yeah. It's about the hero. It's H E R O uh, solutions in BOE electronics. So it will be the, about the health, the entertainment, the office, and enjoying. Okay. So yeah. Maybe you can uh, use a tablet in your car in the future, and also for some house care, yeah, in the car, also in the car. So maybe in the future you can do everything in your car when there is heavy traffic jam, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. BOE had a great show. Yeah. A lot of people coming here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, several days before, I mean, when the nights and tens, we have lots of people here and they're lying to try our car and to see our demos. And did they say it was the best in the CES? Yes. Did they say that? Of course. And you had some fun? You had fun at the show? Uh, yeah, I have fun. Much, much fun. Yeah, you had fun. All right, there's a big, uh, big LED screen uh, up there. Yeah, the, it's uh, also uh, made by ourselves. Cool. Yeah, but the display of the surface is re really fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I'm looking at the best display in the world. 16K, 32 inch light field. The dinosaur is right there jumping at me. The demos are totally upgraded from the display week from uh, six months ago, eight months ago. It's tracking my eyes and I'm moving fast and it's still tracking. I don't understand how it can be so fast. So it's giving each of my eye a 4K image, right? 4K, 4K. But why does it need 16K to show me 4K, 4K? It, it seems it would need uh, less than 16K to do that, but you're telling me that it has more, more angles, even though it's tracking my eyes. So it needs to have more angles to make it work. But how many angles you can do? So it catch my eye. Oh, it's funny. When I do a little bit like this, <laughs> if I turn a little bit my eyes like this, it's weird. I have to stay parallel with the screen. And then I get the amazing experience. It's really, it's right here. I can catch it. 32 inch light field. Oh, this looks amazing. It should be like this when you do video conference and you see the person sitting right there and you will you will feel like the person is in the room with you it's amazing how many how much bitrate you need to do that so you need a 16k live streaming i can fit it within two or three hundred megabit right everybody's is going to get a gigabit ethernet a gigabit fiber at home you could be doing video conferencing where you basically just sit down, talk with the person, 
in real time, no lag hopefully. I'm just uh, imagining some scenarios. It's really interesting, the motion blur, I, I feel a little bit motion blur when I move. It's kind of like the, the system is catching up. It's, it's really following. Yeah, it's hard for me to understand. The, the way I thought light field were working is that it would do all these different fields, no matter where you're looking, but it does track the eye. So I think it adjusts the resolution exactly from where my eyes are. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to explain. It's 700 nits right now, but that's plenty bright. Can I switch to another demo? What happened if I click here? Is there another demo? Do you have uh, do you have another demo? Oh, uh, this one? Nice. Uh, do you have an one more? Another one? Oh, a heart. Okay. Uh, yeah, a skull. An eyeball. Do you have something that's not inside the body? Something different? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. No, because it's so realistic. I'm, I don't feel I'm, uh, my breakfast is going to stay inside. Ooh, whoa, I can go over and above it. And this is like, there's so much happening here. All these angles, it's hard to communicate. I can see the two angles when I blink my eyes. Such a clear light field display. Being, it should be reacting when I touch it. You should have a sensor or something. And I'm touching, I'm touching the back of the airplane. Can I have one more demo? Oh, inside the engine. This is the Airbus engine by Rolls Royce. You can see all the little elements of the engine. This is why the 737 Max has issues. Always go with Airbus. All right, let's try the next. Okay, this is nice. This was an SID also. Some of these were an SID. Yeah. It also works when I go forward and back, no problem. It's like I can really go around it. Oh, I can look inside it. Ah, thanks a lot. Thanks for this demo, this, uh, this was fun. This is maybe just nearly as good as the Elon Musk tunnels and the uh, sphere.